Hello guys, welcome to the new uh, new bit of the channel where we're going to be going over my new car. It's definitely a car that I've wanted ever since I was a kid. Uh, it's the Zubra Impreza WRX All Fire uh, 2006. Literally, I picked it up about a week ago, um, and and yeah, I've loved every every minute with it, every day with it. It's such a fun car to drive. Um, picked up for a pretty good price, nice little bargain. Um, but yeah, so I want to really pretty much just show you show you about the car. What we're going to do throughout the series as well, hopefully, is just give you guys a little journey on the car. Because I've had to have it for a long time. So we can just you know, go through what we're going to do with it, what the plans are. Um, and, and I'll try and let you know as much information about it as I can let you know. I'm not a professional. Um, I know little bits of bobs about cars, but I don't know everything. So obviously I will try and explain everything to you and explain the car to you and what it does and what it's got, etc. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not a pro. Definitely, far from, far from not a pro. Um, but yeah, so basically, yes, yeah, so Zubaru Impreza, uh, Hawkeye WRX. Um, it's been remapped uh, to about 280, 300 brake. Um, to be fair, me coming from a, a transit van, you know, like brake horsepower, I don't know whether this is, is pushing that or whether it is stock or what, but it's, it's definitely got good pull, good power. Um, she doesn't hold back. She definitely moves well. Um, but yeah, I just want to give you a little, just a little quick little video, basically just an introductory video on, um, on yeah how the car drives, what I think of it really, and maybe what the sort of plans are with it. I do apologise. Obviously, it's a bit dark. I decided to come out at night time in this. Um, as it is my first real YouTube video anyway. So I thought right we'll just get out, we'll go and do a quick little video. Um, we'll just chat through everything. So plan wise, um, obviously the MOT is due in a few months, so I've had to do a lot of just sort of like bulbs, little things, all the small things, just get the bulbs done. I've got to sort out the horn, the horn's not working at the minute. Um, so it's mainly I've done bulbs, I've changed all the interior lights to LED lights. Um, done the number plate lights of any D's, not having any full codes on it or anything, which is good. Um, also, hopefully, you can actually hear me. Um, it's got a four inch back box, I'm pretty sure it's all two and a half inch through, um, and then up to the downpipe. Um, I don't think it's been decayed. Uh, it does pop and bang a little bit once it's warm, um, but, but again, I'm, I'm not sure if it's actually been decayed or not. I'm pretty sure if it probably was, it would be a lot louder. Um, Everything's pretty much stopped, so it's got a turbo spark uh, blower valve, um, which pretty much that comes on obviously with the boost. The boost comes in at about 3,100. Um, I think it peaks at about four and a half. I'm not 100 percent sure, but obviously then when the boost comes in and, and it pretty much then the blower valve comes in, you get that lovely little sound. Um, it handles pretty well. I went out the other day, um, did some nice country roads. Um, Pretty sure I'm going to have to upgrade the brakes at some point. I've got to do this for it, but I'd like to give maybe some sort of recommendations on what to do. You know, maybe not go six pot yet, because obviously that's going to be expensive, some big Brembo's or something. Maybe just stick to the, the standard stock Subaru calipers and stuff. We'll just upgrade the discs, put new pads in. Hopefully that'll help. Also, tyres as well. I noticed that I've got some Kumo tyres on it at the minute. In the dry, they're fine, they're not too bad. But when I went out the other day, I, was, you know, I had a few sketchy moments, a few bits where it went one way, and then I had to flick it back, get it the other way, and straighten her up. Um, and there was a couple of moments, and that was sort of the first time that I really went out and pushed the car, sort of my limit. Um, and we was, we was going pretty well, to be fair. Um, but yeah, like I say, this is just be more of a more of a little bimble video. I'll try and show you a couple of pulls now and then as well. Just, uh, just, just trying to warm her up at the minute. I'm one of those that likes to warm her up, and you know, warm her into it, take it easy with her. Um, but yes, yeah, so, yeah, like I say, this is, this is all sort of new for the channel, and I'm hoping it can progress to something. And, and hopefully, a lot of you guys want to follow the journey on, on what we do with the car. It might be a long process, um, you know, family life as well. Got a son, got a missus, got a job, so you've got to try and sort of maybe fit this in with everything else that you do as well. 
um, which uh, you know a lot of you guys will probably definitely understand that, which is good. Um, so yes, yeah, so, I mean, video, you know, it might not be regular, but I will definitely get videos up as much as I can, and anything that you guys obviously request as well. You know, if you request certain videos, you want to see sort of how tos. Um, I've done a few things. I've restored the headlights, so you can know, use the Meguiar's headlight restore kit. That went really well. I just literally just polished them up again as well to give it an extra coat of polish and buffed it out. Um, what else did I do? Yeah, like I said, I've done the fog light, I've done number plate lights, interior lights. Um, what else have we done? The seat belts, like I said, the seat belts were squeaking a little bit, so we took the trims off and we sorted out the belts on them, which was good. Um, but yeah, yes, to be honest, I'm, yeah, I haven't really done a massive amount to it myself, but the future plans, I mean, we could do with probably getting uh, upgrading the clutch at some point, um, definitely upgrading, upgrading the brakes, um, try and get a nice set of tyres on her as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to get some nice ratty, ratty gold wheels as well, that'd be pretty cool. The wheels are new at the minute, they um, could do with being refurbed or at least clean. So there, so that's... That's where the valve comes in, the little glass valve. I don't know if you heard the little pop at the bank there, that was quite nice as well to hear. Um, but yeah, once she's born, she's, she's a bit of a rocket. She's a bit of a rocket. I mean, a lot of you guys that have obviously had Scoobies for a while, you'll know that they, they just put a massive smile on your face. I mean, that's the reason why I got it. It's just, you might not be the fastest car on a straight line, but you come to the corners, the bends, you've got the right setup. And yeah, these things, they, they come out of the corners well, they go into the corners well, they, they power through the corners. Just keep that foot on the throttle, keep it going, and, and and it will look after you. Like it's such a driver's car, anyone can jump in this and drive it. I've had a few friends have a go. Um, you know, obviously, new car, they want to see it, they want to have a go themselves. Um, but yeah, it's such such a driver's car, like anyone can get in it. So we'll show you a couple of little pulls now.